Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first ever Houston Texans mock draft. We're doing this one because you don't have a first round mock and I want to make sure you guys get in on some of this fun. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little bell notification because I do do a first round mock every single week and I'm planning on doing team mocks about once a month. If you want to check in on the Green Bay Packers, please check out the Packernet podcast. Otherwise, let's just get this started, man. With the 78th pick in the third round of the 2021 NFL Draft, the Houston Texans select Josh Myers, interior offensive lineman, Ohio State. So it's not great that in the first 100 picks, the Texans are going to walk away with an offensive lineman, especially interior. But talk to your GM about it, all right? I'm not the one that got you into this mess. And the fact of the matter is, I really, really, really want to work on this offensive line. I know you have Laramie Tunsil now. I know you drafted Titus Howard, and, and hopefully he's better than he was because things did get off to a bit of a rocky start with him not playing all that much, and when he did play, he didn't look all that great. But, you know, he'll hopefully come back. And then we got Max Sharping, very similar situation. Second-round pick, also kind of terrible. But, you know, hopefully he gets better. The, the biggest issue, though, I'm looking at is our right guard spot, Zach Fulton. I mean, it's it's the fact that really nobody outside of Tunsil has proven they're a capable offensive lineman. I want to make sure that that point is very clear as well, because if it's if we're assuming that well, Sharping and, and Howard are going to be great, so then why do we need offensive? I don't know that they're going to be great. They haven't proven to be great at anything so far. So we've got a couple maybes, but haven't proven anything yet. But we know for a fact that Fulton isn't going to be the answer. And to be completely honest, I don't know that Nick Martin deserves another contract whenever his contract comes up it looks like he's signed through 2023 so he'll be around for a little while but still even he hasn't done all that much so far so somewhere along this offensive line our man is going to be plugged in um, because offensive line is huge we've got one of the most talented quarterbacks in all of football we gave away his number one wide receiver we got three guys now so maybe it'll work out it actually might work out really well and I, I think it will because He's a great quarterback, but we got to get him some help somewhere. He doesn't have a tight end. He doesn't have an offensive line. He doesn't really even have an elite wide receiver anymore. He's got like three decent wide receivers. I just feel bad for Watson, and I want to get the man some help. And we also have a running back that seems to have talent, but he doesn't really have anywhere to go because we don't have a very good offensive line. So for those reasons, I really wanted to hone in on it, and it was also a great value. So with the third, uh, 78th pick, Josh Myers, Ohio State. With the 108th pick in the 2021 NFL Draft in the fourth round, the Houston Texans select Jeremiah Moon, edge rusher, Florida. Now, the defense as a whole, it's, it's weird because I, I view the Texans as having a great defense, but I think it's just because that's just one of those things where you assume that, but when you look at it, what are we looking at? You're looking at a... a what is he going to be, 30, after this draft, he's going to be 32-ish, 32 and a half, going on 33. J.J. Watt is, if I didn't say his name. Who else is on this defense that I'm really scared of? Reed? Linebackers aren't terrible. I mean, Conley hasn't done anything. Roby hasn't done anything. I just, I'm not scared of anybody here. So, at the very least, we want to help the defense, but really I'm looking at it and saying J.J. Watt is a one-man wrecking crew. He's by himself. He's probably only going to play a half a year. we got to start getting somebody in here. we got to do something because this just isn't good enough, and we need to get back to being you know, a top-five defense again, and I just don't know how we do that if we don't keep adding pieces. So we're going to bring in Jeremiah Moon. He's a smaller guy, but uh, he's going to be kind of a speed rusher, and, and again, it really is just J.J. can handle double teams but he shouldn't have to do it all by himself all the time. With the 110th pick in the fourth round of the 200 and in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Houston Texans select Tommy Kramer, offensive guard, Notre Dame. So I'm, I'm, I'm not kidding around, man. Now, I am going to stop here with offensive line because of the potential, but I'm also going to kind of bake into this the assumption that some of these guys are just bad. They're not bad because they're young and they're just they're just not going to get there. So I want this fixed. Between the young guys we have with potential and Myers and Kramer, we're going to have an offensive line this year. Period. 
Now, Howard is, is a question mark in and of himself, and I, we didn't get another tackle, and we're drafting too late to be doing that anyways, but I want it fixed, and it's going to get fixed, and that's it. With the 142nd pick in the fifth round of the 2021 NFL Draft, the Houston Texans select Keith Taylor, cornerback, Washington. So the cornerback spot maybe isn't the biggest need on earth. Again, I do want to work on this defense a little bit, but when you look at it, Bradley Roby is spotty at best. Gary and Conley has not worked out as well as we had expected. He hasn't been as good since he's come over here. And although we've taken several swings at this over the last two drafts, including Lonnie, the second round draft pick, he's been a massive, massive disappointment. So, you know, we don't have good corners. We don't have enough. We might have two moderate corners, but at the very least, we need some better depth and to have somebody come in and actually compete for a spot. And we know Washington is a great place to get corners. So we're taking a swing in the fifth round and hoping to, to find a diamond in the rough to help us out at corner. With the 166th pick in the sixth round of the 2021 NFL Draft, the Houston Texans select Ventrell Miller, linebacker, Florida. So I don't think Cunningham and McKinney are necessarily the worst duo in the world. They're not great, but they're fine. But either way, three of our six linebackers are going to be free agents um, prior to this draft. So a lot of them are already going to be gone by the time we make this pick. And Jacob Martin is a free agent after this season. So even if we keep the top two guys, which we probably will, um, we're going to need to backfill quite a bit. We're, we're going to be losing bodies. And we may be losing um, uh, Cunningham or McKinney, if I can look at this really quickly. Zach Cunningham is, is the one that's due a contract before this season. So if, if Cunningham is back again, we still got a bunch of guys that are out. But he may not be back. So either way, linebacker is a need for the team. And so we're going to take a swing with Ventrell Miller out of Florida. With the 174th pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Houston Texans just fried. The Houston Texans select Kylan Granson, tight end out of SMU. So I would have loved to have gotten a tight end earlier. Uh, we desperately need, again, a lot of this draft has been about helping our quarterback, helping what is one of the more underrated, although he's appreciated, underrated quarterbacks. He has the upside and the ability to be the best quarterback, second-ish best quarterback in the NFL, but he just doesn't have enough. Even when he had a, a top wide receiver, he's got one wide receiver, no run game, no offensive, blah, 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 blah right? I want to help the guy out, and again, I wish I could have gotten him a tight end earlier. Maybe in free agency we do some stuff, but either way, I want to try our best here. Um, and it's not impossible to find a tight end late. We're only in the sixth round. We've had several, you know, fifth round dynamo tight ends and what, maybe sixth round also. I don't know. I'm just off the top of my head. I know fifth round has been a big round for some really talented um, tight ends in the league. So we're taking a shot. And we're hopefully going to be able to find a talented weapon to complement our offense in uh, Kylan Granson, Granson out of SMU. Finally, with the 206th pick in the 2021 NFL Draft of the seventh round, the Houston Texans select Afenyi Major defensive tackle Temple. So similar to what I said early on when we got Jeremiah Moon. We want to be able to help JJ and to get more bodies up front. We need to get younger. We need to get more talented. It's a seventh round, but I don't mind defensive tackle late. Um, I think you can still find at least some one-dimensional players that can come in, you know, whether they're um, third down guys that are sort of the 330-pound guys that don't do much but eat up space, or in this case, you get a guy like Maja out of Temple, who is 6'2", 285, at least that's what I have here. I don't know what the graphic said. There's different websites say different things. But um, we're hoping to be able to get at least a little bit more of a, a pass rush, gap shooting type of guy that we can pair up with J.J. Obviously, J.J. is going to be getting all the double teams, and we're going to be a little bit more concerned about Jeremiah Moon. Hopefully, nobody's going to be worried about Mr. Afenyi Maja. I don't know why I keep saying his name when I don't know how to say his name. But <laughs> I... It's just, it's a, I feel like that's major, kind of like major with an accent, but it's major. Maje? I don't know. But I got you another defensive tackle, so you're welcome. 
That's going to do it for this episode. Please get in the comments section. Let me know what you like, don't like, so that when we come back around to this next month and do the next Houston Texans mock, we can get a little bit more dialed in. Uh, let me know if there's anything that I missed, something to consider. Otherwise, please hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell notification. And if you want to check out any Packers related news, you got the Packernet podcast five days a week. Please come check it out. Otherwise, I'll catch you next time.